Sarah, and hey Kirby. Oh, hope I don't, I've been getting interrupted. All right, so I wanted to come on real quick and do a video because I just replied to Deborah. Hi Deborah. She messaged me on my Facebook page um, and she asked me a question and I thought it was a, a good question that I wanted to tell all you guys the answer to. Um, basically, and I hope you don't mind me sharing this, Deborah, but did I think that taking Wonderlust, which is an online year, <clears throat> excuse me, year-long retreat of classes of uh, I don't know what the mixed media classes probably was was good for a newbie. Okay, so yes, Deborah, yes, and I'll tell you why. My thought is, and I've been I've been doing not mixed media. It'll be four years in April that I've been on YouTube and that I've actually really reached out or branched out, I should say, into different media. Um, I was a decorative painter for years. Those of you who watch my videos, um, I've talked about this. Decorative painting is such a different animal compared to mixed media. Um, with decorative painting, a teacher creates their design. So this, this whole thing is literally, a like, I use their tracing and put it on my piece so it's their artwork that you use. They tell you what colors to use, where to put them, and how to do it. And when you're done, you come away with a piece that is very much like the teacher's. It's not going to be exactly like the teacher's, but it is their design, their work. And I did that for 10 years, and I loved it so much. I mean... Um, eh, then it became been there, done that. I just, I taught myself for a little while. Um, I, I had some classes and then I discovered YouTube and a whole new world of, oh man, you know, you know what you discover when you go on YouTube. Um, but I started doing the, the mosaics, the, the real glass mosaics and, uh, stained glass. That's pretty much what, what I started doing and venturing into after painting. And then I found Lori Micah. Lori Micah is an artist that creates with polymer clay. And she was doing something at the time called Mixed Media Mosaics and she wrote a book about it. And I've talked about it a ton on my channel. You all know about Lori Micah. Um, Wow, she just introduced me to a whole world. Oh, I, I also did beading. I've dabbled in pretty much every craft there is. But for classes, now, the other thing about, um, I just wanted to say too, decorative painting, this was before YouTube and before this online class thing that it's become. You had to go to convention, and I've been to, I want to say five different conventions. I went to, anyway, and it was so fun because you would go to a convention center and take a day worth of classes. So usually you could fit in two to three classes a day for maybe three days or four days, depending how long the convention was. They had a trade show, so you could go to the, the trade show floor and shop from all the different vendors, from all the different companies that made the supplies, and it was like heaven. I mean, I remember I would like hyperventilate when you first get to the trade show. It's just amazing. So these online classes don't offer that type of a thrill, but um, it's still very, very good. You get so much. So I've taken four so far. Polymer Clay Adventure, which I took, I think it was 2014. Uh, I took Life Book last year, no, 20, I want to say 2016, so maybe it was 15, doesn't matter. Life Book, Polymer Clay Adventure, Wonderlust, and Joanne Sharp had one, and I can't think of the name of it, and I never finished it. It, it wasn't my cup of tea. Um, Artfully Inspired Life, I did that last year too, and I only got to February, and I stopped doing it. It just, it just didn't, it was pretty, uh, it was a little repetitive for me. Um, she was the only teacher that did it, and I love Wonderlust and Lifebook um, because there are so many different teachers. 
the best thing about taking classes is you are there to learn a new way to look at things, a new way to see things. Where do they get their inspiration from? Um, why do they use the tools that they use and the different products that they use? What, you know, what works for them? Um, you know, all that different stuff. And, and the thing is, I may not love everything they do or think it, it's going to, it's something I want to use, but I, at least I've learned it and I can add it or not to my toolbox. And you definitely usually come out of there with something new that you've learned. Um, like for example, I'm going to take a face-to-face -face class with Diane Reevely. I'm going to the Queen's Inc. on the 10th, I believe. Wait a minute. No, I'm going at the class is on the 12th. I'm going to my cousin Fran. She lives in Maryland. The Queen's Inc. is in Maryland. And I'm going to take a day. It's about it's from 10:30 to 5:30. We're creating these cards. I think they she called them alphabet phrase cards or something. I forget. Um, where we're going to put sayings, but it doesn't matter what the class is. That's the thing. It doesn't matter what we're going to make or anything like that. I am going to find out, be able to find out where she gets her inspiration from, why she does, goes about journaling the way she does it. And we all know she's Dilusions, right? So she's, she's um, created her own line of paints and inks and everything based on the way she likes to art journal, which I've never really done that much. I've tried it. I've done a few different things in her style, but it's so big and bold that it's it's a lot. So um, I can't wait to take the class and just see where she's coming from and come away with whatever I come away with. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's well worth it. And um, so yeah, I think definitely Deborah, take as many classes as you can. Um, so the other thing I, I was going to say is, um, oh, crops for fun. Hi, crops for fun. I don't know your name. Um, when I shared, I did a share on the Jane Davenport products. Jane Davenport, if you guys don't know, which it's all over YouTube, you should know. Uh, she's come out with her own line of products now. I think American Crafts is creating her line for her and it's gorgeous because her work is so pretty and playful. Um, she actually taught a class at Lifebook last year so I did get to take a class with her. Um, I don't think I did it. I'm gonna, I think I downloaded that one. I may have to revisit that. Crops for Fun told me that she has a free workshop because she sells a lot of workshops. She doesn't do a lot of free classes. A lot of artists don't do YouTube videos for free, like complete projects. They'll show a little snippet of a workshop that they're selling. And so that was a lot of Jane. Jane has a lot of workshops, but they're all for money for to pay for. And I've taken a lot of other, I've taken Jody Ole, Kate Crane, Joanne Sharp. I did another, a different Joanne Sharp one. Um, I didn't, Robin Marie Smith is a, another artist that I, she does YouTube videos, but I think she had some free ones on her Vimeo. Anyway, um, so I've paid for workshops as well. Separately, I've done polymer clay ones, like with, uh, oh, I can picture a Mandarin Moon. I can't think of it. Anyway, um, this one is free, you guys. The Jane Davenport one, because of her new product line, she's put together a free mixed media workshop on her website. So I'll put the link in the description box. All you have to do is sign up for it with your email address. So you just put your email address in, and I guess she'll send you emails based on her product line or when she gets new workshops listed or something. But once you do that, you have access to this. And right now there's about nine videos up. And yeah, they're based around her this new release of all her products. But you really get a lot of information. She's a very um, playful artist and whimsical and fun. So uh, 
you really do understand a lot more about what art journaling is all about when you watch this workshop. That's what I got out of it. I really think it's a good, a great thing. That's why I'm combining the two of these topics because, Deborah, for newbies, it's important to know that an art journal is just for fun. It's for you. It doesn't have to be anything. Um, I'm going to do a follow-up video to this one where I'm going to take you through my art journals now based on right now, today, 2017, February 2nd, how I feel about it today because it's different from a year ago and then from a year before that. It's evolved so much over this last three years, I guess, of taking these mixed media classes that now I feel like I get it. I And I didn't get it at first. I didn't understand. It was so much at, coming at you all at once. So I think listening to Jane, this workshop is very helpful. She really comes at it from a happy standpoint, like just be happy. Just let it be what it is. Real loose you know, and so I think um, it's very helpful to come to it from a place of it's okay. Whatever it is is okay. So I'm going to put the link then for the Jane Davenport. Thank you for um, the heads up about that at Crops for Fun. And also, Deborah, um, Wonderlust, I think it's a great idea. Or Lifebook or anything, any of those, um, or maybe just if you don't want to take the whole year long one, find an artist that you're inspired by and go to their website, and usually it's their Etsy, Etsy channel, their Etsy store, will have a listing for their workshops, and you can purchase workshops through their Etsy store. And maybe just take, like I did the Jody O one, which was, there was like a, at least, and even for my class, when I did my art doll, there's like 12 videos that I did for that. Um, and you get a little bit of something out of it. Um, so taking classes is a good thing. And if you can take them in person, I would recommend that too. And I wish there were, I hope there someone comes up with maybe deco art or um, what is this? Media mosaics, this thing, this deco art media. You should make a convention and you should bring in teachers and Invite other people to trade shows. It's so awesome. Anyway, that's my dream. I can't, I love convention. And um, there's still decorative painting conventions too that you could probably all go to and, and it's wonderful. So I hope that was helpful. I just wanted to share. I love that you guys message me and ask me questions. But Deborah, this was a good one. I think uh, everyone, all newbies out there, just do it. Take classes. Jump in. Don't be afraid. How are you not going to be a newbie anymore unless you start doing things, you know? So thank you, Deborah, very much for the question. And thanks for watching.